why template businesses are actually great businesses for the type of Americans we have currently in our society. Let me just go there. Uh, most people can't follow directions. Most people want things simple. Most people don't want to do it too much work. Most people just want to show up to work and do remedial, repetitive tasks over and over and get paid the most for doing the least. So what you'll see here when I talk about courage, and this is something I remember my father talking about. I remember um, men at school talking about, like, you need to have courage. And, like, what did that mean? Now, at the time, I think they were talking to a lot of the young men in school about having courage for whatever reason that may be. But even at church, when they talk about men having courage, 90% 90, 90 of the time, a lot of the women I know start businesses. If they get a new husband, new boyfriend, and he makes a significant amount of money and she don't have to work, she will not work. She will not work. And I've seen it too many times. I know it's true. <laughs> if a man starts a business and he really enjoys the business and it makes money and he gets to a point where he can coast he will coast that's the just the nature of people so but guess what it takes courage to actually go out and start this business that's why when people talk bad about template businesses you know the trucking industry any of these businesses that you kind of just you know car rental um which there's templates for <laughs> people just don't want to follow them but a lot of these industries they're templates you're not doing anything new. You're not recreating the wheel. You're not a special whatever. What's the special sauce is you, right? So when it comes to these blogs, these YouTube videos, uh, these femininity channels, these all these different things is, uh, a lot of people say, well, isn't these, these outlets saturated? And they're not saturated. The thing is, people put their own spin on it. So I can say the exact same thing in a video that someone else said, in the same exact delivery style with a calmer voice and guess what somebody will still be like well I watched this other person's video and I got it and at the time I used to be offended by that but now I'm not because I remember back in high school I had algebra coach uh, algebra teacher she sucked she just did she sucked her stuff teaching style sucked I went to college retook algebra and uh, retook calculus because she had taught both classes and I failed both times her, and I was like damn it's uh, am I that slow I'm in all AP classes. There cannot be that I cannot complete these. Went to college, took calculus and algebra again, plastic with flying colors, college level. Different type of teacher. So what I tell people is a lot of times when you talk about something being oversaturated, baby, that's 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 just in your head. Right? People want it shooting fish in a barrel easy. When I hear men and women talk about how hard dating is in their 30s, it's because it's not shooting fish in a barrel anymore. It's not you're in college and you just keep bumping into new people. A lot of times, and I'm going to say this with all due respect, a lot of times when people try to give you marriage advice or dating advice and they just bumped into somebody when they was 20 at college, I don't listen to them. Now, if I want to listen to them about endurance and enduring in a long season of marriage, sure. But dating? No. You just bumped into somebody cute when you was 20 and y'all got married. That's that's how that goes. And, and even to the day when you meet people in their 30s, I've had friends get married in under three and four and five months. Now, they didn't just marry them because they was cute, but they also married them because they had light, light baggage. Now, what do I mean light baggage? I'm going to be careful with that. They didn't have kids. All the people I know, they didn't have kids. Uh, and they were in the same kind of flow of life. So, again, what I know about people is template businesses work. You follow the template and you, you don't go, you don't try to reinvent the wheel. You, you pretty much put a little ad spin on it and you keep it pushing, right? <laughs> And a lot of people try to reinvent the wheel and make something new out of something that's 100 years old, right? There, there's, there's, there's just like nothing new under the sun. And what's unfortunate is people want to have a sexy business instead of having a money-making business. And a lot of times a money-making business is a boring routine business. Let me say that again. A lot of times people want to have a sexy business instead of a routine business that makes money. When you see guys that are plumbers making 100 bands a year, 120 a year and people are like well you know he a plumber he making the six figures you requested there's a whole section called blue collar millionaire where a lot of these men own construction companies plumbing companies welding companies and they make bank consistent routine boring businesses making bank there's a couple here in austin they are multi-millionaires called kangaroo roofing you can look them up and now they made so much money they bought somebody's ac company now they got kangaroo ac uh, it's a different name on it, but it's basically Kangaroo Roofing owns the same one. So a lot of times when people sit here and try to talk to me about oh, how hard it is to start a business, 99% of the businesses you want to start are very boring, are very template, 
are very run-of-the-mill you are not creating anything special and I hate to burst your bubble but that's usually what it is something very routine like when I talk to people about blogging and YouTubing the biggest thing we talk about is mindset getting them to do the task repeatedly without immediate gratification because we live in a society where y'all go to work and get paid exactly by the hour so but you building a YouTube channel for five years or three years or two years Oh, that's oh damn, that's too long. You know, I need to go viral. Like, oh, well, viral means just that. It's usually on accident. It's usually on accident. Now, how you carry yourself after the viral moment matters. Kevin Samuels, upgrade equipment, upgrade quality, upgrade lighting, upgrade. Always, he's always been improving his system and his set. Always, he's always been improving his what the quality of what you're seeing. Right, uh, O'Shea Duke Jackson, improving the quality of what you're seeing. Many people on YouTube when they realize they're not just young and fit and a fitness person look at all the fitness channels when they realize how low the views for fitness were going they all either segue to higher 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 video quality higher editing and having what very template businesses you know you try to reinvent the wheel you don't need to max tuning is doing candy uh, Christian Guzman is doing energy drinks and supplements and clothing and now this Affaland that he's dropping 20 million into that means he had to have the money to drop it into it but if you look at their videos, when they realized fitness views were going down, all they did was build in a lot of high quality editing. Nick Bear, any of those folks. What you also have to understand is when you have this audience of half a million people, right? And you pitch a product or a service. And again, this isn't always guaranteed, but when you pitch, you have half a million people and you pitch a product or service. If just 10% of those people, 50,000 people consistently forever buy t-shirts, clothing supplements you will be a multimillionaire for the rest of your life for the rest of your life if you don't f it up if they if none of them make another youtube video in another day in their life they will have money why because it's 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 tail as old as time long tail uh, email marketing having a product that people like and reoccurring customers that's it that's it even they complain of the algorithm on YouTube. Because people be like, well, you're, you just complain. I'm like, boo-boo, this is a real thing. Whether someone in an office has created it, whether someone is working behind the scenes and just throttles for certain people, certain keywords, you know, I think it's computer generated. It's not necessarily a uh, us thing. It's just the computer is necessarily doing it. Because I can check my titles. I can check what I've put together. I've checked, I, I mean, you name it. And I can see the difference. So when that happens, you do have to go the gorilla route. You do have to go the Jason Black route. You do have to go some other people out and go gorilla style marketing with your stuff. Outside marketing with your stuff. That means SEO. That means uh, podcast. That means all these things. Like, And I break a lot of this down in the Route 20% and I break a lot of it down in the um, other class, my YouTube class, because I'm like, if you really think this is a business and you really want to make millions of dollars from it, you have to literally structure it like a business, put systems on it like a business, right? My other two companies have a manager. I am not the lead on them. So when people are like, oh, you can't have more than one company. Yeah, I do. But you have to have staff. You have to hire people. That's just all it is to it, right? Um, and so when I'm short-tempered on here, it's just frustrating that I'm literally telling you the answer, A, B, C, D. And people start to put imaginary roadblocks into it. Literally, I listen to you guys go, but then this and that. And I'm like, well, just go ahead and do it. Just go ahead and do it, sis. Go ahead and do it. People be like, but, 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 yeah, it's that easy. Just do it. So again, Mr. Girl Erica, classy client blog. Didn't want to make this too long of a rant. But again, y'all, template businesses work because they're simple. And the type of American society we have needs simple, repetitive structure. Uh, <laughs> to, to make it work the special sauce when it comes to any business is you for sure um but what happens is people burn themselves out doing too many roles you have to delegate as soon as possible when you can afford to and you have to stay consistent with it even guys right now they're um a guy i love robbie scale with systems his latest video he said he realized he spent the past three years with all paid traffic and yes, they made $7 million, but he, now he's building a YouTube channel and he wishes he had more organic traffic. If he'd have started building a YouTube channel four or five years ago, when he first decided to build the company, he'd probably have 100,000 plus subscribers plus. 
because the way YouTube favors the brand new channels. So again, you guys, this is your girl Erica Classy Climb blog. Suggesting you don't give up. Suggesting you have courage. Takes courage to do brave things. And I think later today we'll talk about um, what I see on the horizon in U.S. society. Later.